Let's write our first GraphQL query. We're using the SpaceX GraphQL API that has been imported into Postman. This gives Postman the access to the schema of the API, and then it uses GraphQL introspection to enable the autocomplete feature. So let's first write a query to get the company details. The request URL is the GraphQL API URL. Let's quickly grab it from here. And let's create a collection variable to store this value. We can now use this collection variable here. For the body, select the GraphQL option. This enables us to write a native GraphQL query. If you notice, the schema is being fetched from the SpaceX API that has been imported. Change the method to post. This is necessary since all GraphQL operations work on top of the HTTP post method. We start with the keyword query. We can also give an operation name. Both the keyword and the operation name are optional, but it is recommended to use operation name for easier logging and debugging. If I press control space, autocomplete in comes into play and I'm presented with all the queries from the schema. I'm selecting company because we intend to get the company details. Let's see what output fields are available. Let me choose a few like CEO. Founder. Summary, headquarters. So the red swiggly line indicates that headquarters is a complex field. So we need to choose its subfields. Let me choose, let's say, city and the state. So our query looks just about ready. Let's save it and hit send. So we get the company details and if you notice we get just the fields that we've asked for. In the header section, notice that the content type is application JSON. The GraphQL documentation mentions that we can use content type application GraphQL and if you're using Express GraphQL, you get this behavior for free. I believe that not all the GraphQL APIs will support this out of the box. For example, SpaceX API doesn't seem to support this. So if I change the content type to application GraphQL, and the mode to raw. We will see an error that the body parser middleware should be used. While if we look at the Star Wars API, we can use a query with the application GraphQL content type and the raw mode for body. So we get the result. So my guess is that only if the API server is using the express GraphQL body parser, this particular behavior is supported. But we can certainly use a JSON body type in a GraphQL query. So let me select JSON. I'll copy my query. I'll have to condense everything into one line. Since this is JSON, 
we need to give a property name and that name is query even if we were writing a mutation the name of the property will still be query and the value of this property is the actual query condensed into one line we can remove the content type application graphql and we're back to the good old application json content type so let's hit send and here we go we get the response with the body type as json